Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Thomas Haney and this is my uh, showcase for Leadership Battles in Higher Education, basically the uh, stuff that I'm going to be covering in the full uh, case study, uh, an overview anyway. So I'll outline my uh, professional uh, leadership roles and context within the institution. I want to particularly focus on my programme leadership role that I've recently acquired, um, for the case study anyway. Um, I'll be talking about the considerations and the stakeholders that are involved in that. Um, my leadership qualities are certainly the leadership qualities that I've managed to identify from uh, looking at the, the literature that I consider to be uh, positive in terms of transformational democratic uh, leadership. How I intend to try and enhance these leadership qualities, um, evidence of the leadership qualities, what that's actually going to look like, um, and evidence of, of, of future enhancement and what that's actually going to, to look like in terms of uh, producing something concrete. Um, so my professional leadership role is I'm Programme Leader for uh, Computer Games uh, Development, Module Coordinator for uh, two modules, Programming with Objects and 2D Graphics Programming. I'm the Year 1 Leader for Computer Games Technology, uh, Year 4 Leader for Computer Games uh, Development. I have one final year doctoral student, which will hopefully be over soon, um, and eight uh, honours students. Um, I'm also a, a project director uh, for our research incentive Carnegie uh, Trust Grant and I'm also the uh, Athena Swan School of Computing representative uh, of one of them for, for the moment. Um, so in terms of programme leadership here, some of the things that uh, I was considering in, in terms of stakeholders, there's the students, other staff members, senior management and in, in, in industry. <coughs> So in terms of this, there are various things to take into consideration. So senior management, um, alignment with the overall uh, computing curriculum um, in the country, I suppose. Student views, experiences, their, their requirements and how they actually um, absorb and uh, retain, uh, keeping the information, I suppose, in terms of retention. Um, alignment with other uh, programs. So computer game development has to align with computer games technology to make it uh, efficient for uh, teaching. Uh, and how that aligns with the, the college uh, colleges in terms of the college students that we recruit. Um, program leadership also requires to take into consideration uh, staff member uh, capabilities, their opinions as well, uh, what uh, modules they're, they're able to, to volunteer to, to deliver, so that all has to be taken into account. So very much a kind of a relational um, tendency or a relational emphasis, relationship uh, emphasis in terms of being program leadership. Um, program uh, leader. So there's promotional activities in terms of uh, trying to promote the program, employability events, um, industrial requirements and standards, so the, the, the BCS uh, and uh, the TIGA accreditation, things like that. University policy also has to be taken into account. Um, so my leadership qualities are certainly leadership qualities that I've managed to identify from uh, the literature. These are, are some of them. Some of them that I think I've potentially possess, um, generally quite enthusiastic, motivational, trying to be charismatic and, and helpful and tolerant as possible. Um, there are a few that I've come up with uh, just from reading the papers that are quite clearly evident but not perhaps explicitly stated. Um, so in terms of manipulative, not the, the negative uh, form of manipulation, but certainly in controlling, um, being cooperative, I think I have to acknowledge that I'm a bit competitive as well in terms of looking at my position with uh, other people in, in the department. Um, so I wish to, to enhance all of these uh, leadership qualities. Um, however, I particularly care uh, about the, the students and, and the staff in the programme, so that's where I want to, to focus it on. Um, so I, I suppose what I'm, I'm looking at is a democratic, distributed, transformational approach, particularly focusing on the, the programme uh, leadership of computer games uh, development. So what's, what's that going to look like? I um, have uh, considered the idea of coming up with a questionnaire um, to uh, assess uh, leadership uh, qualities as program leader and I was going to send this to, to students and uh, staff members to see if they actually prefer, what kind of leadership style they actually prefer. Um, possibly um, opening myself to a bit of character assassination here but what um, particular leadership qualities they think I possess uh, and what uh, particular leadership qualities they think I could possibly enhance uh, or improve. So the idea is to really uh, strive for uh, personal uh, improvement, or at least that's one idea. So another uh, piece of evidence of future enhancement and this is to try and align the computer games technology and computer games uh, development programs. Um, 
this is um, using a, a grant to come up with a game to teach programming in the two programming um, in the two games programs. Typically, we find that these are in two different languages, um, so it's to try and, and smooth uh, the transition of the direct entry students um, to attempt to enhance retention um, and actually using some form of uh, innovative approach because you have to be kind of conscious of that, that we are a school of uh, creative uh, technology and, and computing and we have to be seen to, to, to try and use innovative approaches uh, in our teaching to, to try and uh, improve all of these things and the, the student experience. So what will that look like at the end? Uh, I'll probably include the application uh, in the, the final case study, um, but that will look uh, that will be a, a literature review, um, a preliminary empirical uh, study to see exactly where the students are having difficulties um, in terms of uh, um, learning these particular programming concepts. Um, there will be a, a game or an application to teach these programming concepts. Uh, quite a, a high uh, level game, um, relatively advanced, because there will be about 45 days of development associated with it. And then, of course, that will be uh, published all at the end in some form of, of journal paper to, to try and enhance um, the, the teaching practices in, in the program. Um, so that's really what uh, I intend to, to do, and that's really about it. Sums things up. Thanks.